Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, Ham Radio, Diary. Zero FXB, just a quick one on the buttons of the Bofung 1702, similar to the RT, Retivis RT-72. So, here we are, look at the screen. So you, we've got A and B showing here. Now, if you want to go into VFO mode, hold down this back button. There you are, VFO mode. You can now type frequencies in, okay? To channel mode, hold it down again. There you go. Now, if you want to control the A and the B band, see the D, that is at the top at the moment. At the moment, you're controlling. When you type anything, you're, it's to do with the top band, which at the moment is a digital frequency. So the menu, the things you select will be digital. Um, so if you want to mute, the, because at the moment, this is a dual band radio, it will receive on both bands only one at a time, but they'll come through as they're active. So if you want to mute the B band, for example, if you push the back button now, look, that has muted the B band. So brief press, green, a little X, mute. Okay. Now, if you want to control the B band, push that and look, now you're controlling the B band and you can go up and down. What? As you can see, and then if you push the, this button here briefly, look, you've muted the top. If you don't mute it, everything will come through. So let's see what else we can do now. We've got this button at the top, which is programmable, and there's a long list in the code plug of different things you can do with this orange button here. But at the moment, it's been programmed for voltage. It's there, look, V. Not seeing any voltage number. No, but if you hold it, it will have another function, which I think hasn't been programmed. But you can also see here, there's a G for GPS. See like that G for GPS. So if you go menu, go down to settings, radio settings, and go down, you'll see, push menu again for OK, and then go down to number two, click OK, and look, you're gonna see your GPS, which is definitely work, works well. And don't forget, this radio costs at the moment, £39 on eBay. If you want to see your firmware version, go there. Let's go back again. Sorry, go up to number two menu. You've got the radio, which is my, me and my DMR number back. Menu, look, there's my firmware. And I'm not going to play with the firmware. I don't think it's worth it. There is a section here called Program Radio, and I've noticed as you go through, you can program everything that's in there. Menu. You've got your usual zones. I've created two zones here. Go to Radio Settings. Go to Radio Settings and look, you've got Tones, Alerts, Backlight, Squelch. Normal or type, intro screen, you can choose keypad, GPS, channel name. Now, if you want the channel name to display, number 13, press menu and you can choose frequency or channel name. Backlight. I'm still sort of learning about this radio. If I hold down the hash, look, it says manual dial, man, not hold down, manual dial. So let's go 91. So is that is that DTMF? Let's go to let's go to the A band and do that again. Yeah, let see when you're on the A band, um, it takes you straight to contacts. We haven't got any contacts in there. Let's empty. So back. So what I'm seeing from that, if we go all the way back out, is if you're on a analog channel, on so select the bottom the button under the PTT and you go analog. So and you hit the hash, it's allowing you to DTMF, look, watch. So there's a DTMF. See, so that's how you do DTMF. Oh, looks like we're actually on ZB, sorry about that, M0FXB. <laughs> the, right, the other thing, so let's get back up to the top. The other thing to realize, if you get confused, look, the top part is showing you the A band, the middle part is showing you the B band, or sub band. 
the bottom line that says hotspot is showing you what zone you're in. So if we change zone, watch menu, go down to zone. I've only, you can create many, many, let's say 20 zones with 30 channels per zone, for, for, per zone, for example. That's how much this radio can hold. So menu, down to zone. We've only got two zones, so that's all we've put in. Menu, and look, we're now on the, the channels that we've created and we've put them into those zones, which you can select by going up and down with these ones when you, when you create more than one. I've only created one channel at the moment. So that's the thing to remember. You've got the time there, the day. I mean, I think it's a fantastic radio for the money. I agree that when you're in analog, this is the downside. So when you're in digital, so we're in digital now. If you try and turn it as low as possible, you can turn it to nothing. But the lowest volume is still a bit loud if, say, you sat next to your... It's quite low, but if you sat next to your wife watching her favourite EastEnders type thing, um, she's not going to be happy. But otherwise, it works great. The audio is really good on HubNet here. There's my HubNet node there. And uh, I've had great audio report. That's digital. See, so we can move away from the channel and then we can go to B. What I could do is mute the B. Actually, let's mute the A. Let's go down to the A. We'll mute the top band by pushing back. So we've now muted the top and now we can use HubNet. That's HubNet, you see? Or we can go up one like that and we can mute HubNet. So now we're going to just hear the top band which is on was on digital if I just mute it. They are. So that's, that, that's DMR. So you get a feel for it. You've got your uh, you can Program this with the micro USB or the, the lead that comes in the box, the two pin lead, which also this is where you plug in your headphones and external microphone. This bit here is 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 blank as far as I can see. The antenna connector, very common Bofeng one. I've changed the antenna, but it's just that type. But I can tell you now, it's a very good quality radio, this. This is no worse than an MD380 Retrovis type radio. Uh, you have got a programmable button at the top here, which if I hold it, I think gives you the input when you're on... Um... Yeah, you can't hear it, but that's it takes you to the input of your repeater. But they all have a, a, a possibility to change... Uh, they have a short press and a long press for all of them. So when you hear stuff, you get this face and a little phone there. When they're talking, it's hard to get into the menu. To get out, you sort of, if you go up the arrow, go to a different zone, then you can get in the menu. It has got scan, I haven't done that. Zones, messages, call log, settings. Let's go. The settings is quite a lot of things. Tones, the radio makes. You can make the keys make tones. Intro screen, you could personalise that. Keypad lock, LED, you can say what the LED is going to do. Vox, clock, group call match for basically promiscuous mode, GPS, channel name, SMS format, and backlight. So I'm sure it does more, but for £39, and it's a good battery on this, nice solid battery, nice big belt clip, this radio is an absolute bargain. So Bofung 1702, highly recommended by me for the price. Uh, for what you get i mean you can't it's not the same as an any tone 878 but they're 200 pounds uh, but i tell you what it's not far off so seven three all the best